JoJo controls the east side of 16th Street. The guys who hang out there are just a bunch of gangbangers posing as a group of vigilantes. They've been copying an attitude ever since our war with the Zaps began. They're not going to stand by and let outsiders like us do as we please. Karanashi's disciples must have heard the ruckus. You've got to finish this before they come out. The Zaps are mounting a counterattack for payback over all the damage you've caused. Unfortunately, still no Dwayne. Give him hell so that he'll have no choice but to rear his ugly face. neck of the woods lately. They're not exactly the touristy type. In fact, if they're not stirring up trouble on their own, they've been known to get mixed up with Dwayne's men on occasion. I want you to head over there and scope out the scene. If they think you're fresh meat and try to jack you, feel free to introduce yourself.
Dojo live and die by the motto, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. So, it's unsurprising that they're still sore over losing one of their guys from the attack we staged. Personally, I think they had it coming to them anyways. Just karma from all the bad blood they've started. But it doesn't look like they're gonna want to settle this one out of court if you get my drift. They got three of their best black belt disciples to settle the score. Normally I'd be a little nervous, but I think you can handle them. legions. He's the kind of guy who's content to just kick back and let his underlings do the dirty work. <laughs> it seems you have been underestimated. Mop up the small fry first and show no mercy. But when it comes to Glenn, maybe you should hang back and bide your time. No use provoking him now. That might even be too much for you to handle. Let's tear it up! <laughs> 